<laughs> Gratitude. I tell you, a beautiful day today. This is a. It is Monday, and I've been out here since about two o'clock this morning. Yes, two a.m. I have just been going, channeling my mind, uh, stretching the body, uh, reading, meditating. It's just so much effort that goes into mind control. Yes. Uh, or should I say, Alafia, 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 Alafia. It's peace upon you. <laughs> So today, I always like it when I have that last one mile walk to the village and I just, I just really do anything that I wanted. So today I'm actually just choosing to just finish up by walking along this path over here. Uh, uh, this is a very say it's seclusive but it's very uh, very a very unique environment uh, so like over here I get to kind of just maneuver around here before I get around to the back street and all that but last one mile back to the village almost at the village uh, the village of Oh, you're too. <laughs> I always like to honor my ancestors. Uh, AI is another technology that I'm like, oh, now. Nah. Now we're going to start learning something new. Uh, I think uh, when you have an open mind, you realize how little that you know. Uh, and I guess for me, is. Uh, the word yoga in the Yoruba language means riro, spell R I R O. Uh, there is something about stretching your body. The intelligence that lays in this body that we don't even know. And all the stuff that really coils up in our spine. That just creates different emotions and pain. Uh, when I got on this yoga wagon, it was ah, let's just do it. But it got serious on me also. Uh, I find myself practicing what I call the overnight yoga. Uh, the overnight yoga I've done for almost like for the past eight nine years I just have this habit of just getting up in the middle of the night to just stretch my body uh, the first time I actually googled how far the body can stretch I was really amazed because I, I didn't even know that our body is capable of that type of stretching. I, I was really blown away by it. So I begin to want to learn more about the elastic of the human body. And I guess that's the reason why uh, Certain philosophers will tell you to study gymnastic. Uh, for a long time, I used to wonder why gymnastic. Well, what does gymnastic really has to do with anything? And I realized that it has a lot to do with anything. <laughs> Stepping into the village. Yotuji, the African Kingdom. 
Yes. Yeah. Village. African village here in before South Carolina. Uh, it doesn't matter what it is. Uh, you carry it inside of you. That's another concept that is just so hard to believe sometimes. That you carry all the things inside of you. There's so many things that we carry inside of us, but we are extremely busy looking outside that we forget to look within. And I guess that's where collective consciousness comes to play. Uh, I think human beings, I like standing there and just, I can see the sun over there, and just sort of just look up in the tree before I turn around and keep on going and finish this thing up. So what I've realized is human beings, whether we realize it or not, we are, we need each other. Yeah. Uh, I know it's very easy for people to say, yeah, I don't need nobody. I can do it by myself. Impossible. Uh, you could think you're doing something by yourself. Uh, but some things you just need people even though you're not interacting with them, you can just feel some form of interaction that will give you information. So overnight yoga, over the last couple of years, uh, I'm blown away. Yeah. Uh, I'm even blown away how long it takes the body to stretch. Yes, how long it takes the body to heal, how the body can heal itself. Uh, the whole thing with meditation, uh, getting in line with your being. Now that is woo, another issue on its own because you begin to, after years of stretching, and doing a lot of stretching, I mean stretching, stretching, you begin to feel every part of your spine. You feel the pain. You feel the joy. And I think the pain that you feel, that uh, I felt, that I'm feeling, shall I say, is that pain of release. Uh, you know something is releasing. Uh, you know your spine is adjusting. You no longer live in fear anymore. I can hear the birds singing, yes. You no longer live in fear anymore. Uh, you live accordingly. Yes, accordingly, meaning how gravity pulls you. Uh, you begin to think deeper than life itself. I'm embracing this energy that I'm feeling. <laughs> Just listen to that. So I'm sort of changing energy, concentration, changing that. I don't even know what to say right about now. So here we, I'm gonna stop here and say a cabo. <laughs> or your Tunji kingdom, the cabo. And continue to drag myself along. Uh, I think I think we've got an event coming this week. This weekend, shall I say? I'm running out of words. I, I won't say I'm running out of words, but uh, I don't know what to say anymore. My attention span shifted with this wind. So now, as I put one foot in front of the other. My whole body is relaxed. Yes, my whole body is relaxed as I put one foot in front of the other. And I'm just sort of just embracing that wind that is blowing. Uh, I don't know what to say anymore except take a yoga class. Learn how to meditate. Yes, remind yourself how to meditate. And how much more minutes do I have left? 